this video, I'm going to describe how to find a stronghold without using any eyes of Ender. We will not be using the seed or creative mode or anything like that, just using some math to strategically search around until you find a stronghold. Note that this only applies to Java Edition, not to Bedrock. In Minecraft, the strongholds are generated in rings centered at 0, 0, as shown in this diagram from the wiki. The first ring has three strongholds, the second ring is further out and then has six strongholds, and the third ring has ten. These numbers are called triangular numbers. It's because you could form triangles out of dots with that many, so 3 equals 1 plus 2, 6 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on. Only the last ring, ring 8, isn't a triangular number. It has 9 strongholds because they wanted the total to be 128, so we will pretend ring 8 doesn't exist. In every ring, the strongholds are equally spaced apart in terms of the angles between them. The first question we will answer is, in which ring are the strongholds closest together? The first rings are smaller, but have less strongholds. The later rings are bigger, but they have more strongholds to find. So what we can do is calculate the average arc length between strongholds. This graph shows that ring 7 has the closest strongholds, and ring 2 has the farthest apart strongholds. To see why this graph is like this, here's the function that represents the distance between strongholds as a function of the ring number, and here is its derivative. This can be used to prove that f does have a local maximum near 2. Does this mean that we want to use ring 7 to search for the strongholds? Maybe. Ring 7 requires the least amount of searching on average, but it's also very far away from spawn. Ring 1 isn't too bad in terms of how far apart the strongholds are, and it's the closest to spawn by far. So I'm going to focus on giving the instructions for ring 1. The next question we need to answer is where within the rings do the strongholds tend to generate? Are they near the center radius? Well, this histogram, which is based on the data from 200 strongholds, is bimodal. There's a lot of strongholds that are about 1650 from 00, and then there's a lot that are 2600 from 00. The difference isn't huge, so I'm going to recommend starting at the inner radius of the circle near 1500, and then go out from there. Here's the process of searching. Go out to 1500 zero, dig all the way down. If you don't find the stronghold, then move a little further along the circle and dig down again. Keep doing this until you've gone 120 degrees, then move out to a slightly bigger radius and go back the other direction. Keep going back and forth until you reach the outer edge of the ring and you will find the stronghold at some point within there. The last question is, how often do you need to dig down? I estimate that strongholds stretch out about 50 blocks in every direction from their center. That means that digging down once every 100 blocks is likely to guarantee that we don't skip over the stronghold. So here are the points where you would want to dig down in order to find a stronghold in ring 1. To see the full list of points, you can click on the link in the description to get to this page on my GitHub. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new Minecraft world, just like normal. And as soon as we spawn, it's going to be normal survival stuff. Gather wood, make stone tools, and once we have stone tools, we're going to start heading out to 1500 zero. So we want to mine a lot of stone right now. Ultimately, we'll need several stacks of it because we're going to be building a lot of pickaxes, but for now, just grab half a stack or so to get yourself started. Now that I have a full set of stone tools, I'm going to turn my coordinates on and start heading straight toward 1500 zero. And there's a village. I'm going to take a brief detour to the side to get stuff from that village. And that will help a lot. And then we'll be all set to head straight to 1500 zero. While I'm here, I want to find at least one with a bed. So I will take the bed. Thank you very much. So the one other important thing that we're going to need is a lot of either sand or gravel. So I just found some sand next to a river. So I'm going to get about a stack of it. Okay, so I've now arrived at 1500 zero. So the first step is to place down the bed and set your spawn point by right clicking on the bed. Now that the spawn point has been reset, I'm going to put down the chest and throw all of my stuff into the chest except for a pickaxe and two sand. So double check that I've slept. Now I'm going to just dig straight down until I get to about y equals 20. And once I get to y equals 20, then I'll be convinced that, okay, the stronghold's not here. Then I'll move on to the next location. So you just need to hold left click and don't worry about falling into lava or a ravine because if anything goes wrong, like skeletons, there's a bed and you'll just be right back up there. Okay, so I made it down to y equals 20. I didn't hit a single cave or anything. So I'm just going to put the sand up there, and I will quickly be back to the surface. If you can think of a quicker way to get back to the surface, let me know in the comments. 
And here we are, ready to go to the next one. All right, one, negative 150, 1993. Same thing as normal. All right, so I'll lock myself in before I drown, and then go straight down. I think I found it. All right, here's the stronghold. Now that I've shown you how to find a stronghold using mathematics, time for the ethical question. Should you do this? No, absolutely not. Under no circumstances should you try something. This takes way too long. You will get bored before you even finish the single pass and give up. Just go get the enderpearls, get the blaze rod, and find the stronghold the normal way. Thank you for watching.